We're here today in Jesus College, Cambridge, road testing a new approach to looking at the future of nature conservation using a three horizons framework. When you think about the future, what's the one quality that comes to mind? It's unknown. It's uh, an innovative way of trying to uh, look at the vision for the future and where we want to be, looking where we are now and what's the bridge between the two. How we're going to bring those two ingredients into play to think in a systematic way about the future. I've been here with a really interesting group of people working in uh, the nature conservation space. So that's everyone from executive directors to practitioners uh, to analysts and working in a range of sectors, including academia and big international NGOs. All approaches to working with the future have to adopt some stance to the fact that it is unknown and some stance to the fact that nonetheless we're going to act on it. I think the Three Horizons approach is one of the clearest, most practical ways I've seen of making future thinking real and practical. I'm an action-orientated person, so I thought the Three Horizons approach was a really interesting way that helped us actually frame what we do and put some concrete things down that we can start to do in the short term. This is not a Luke Hoffman Institute project. But we're promoting innovation in the conservation sector for biodiversity to try and accelerate our way from an unsustainable planet to a sustainable planet. It's an easy organising framework for people to get their heads around and I think it's very useful for organising a field like conservation which is so complex and disputed and contested. This could be a really useful way of looking at how are we working together, where do we want to be as a community, as a partnership, and what are the steps that we need to take into that direction. I do think that this approach could contribute to the strategic thinking of my organization, helping us to sort out the different dimensions of our work. The Three Horizons approach could help uh, my students think about the sort of conservation futures they would like to see, and maybe strategies for how they can engage in shaping those futures. One of the main aspects of my job is trying to broker conversations and relationships between different groups. And I think using this approach to bring everyone into a common debate and to agree a kind of common vision and a pathway to it is, is a really constructive thing. I think the missing piece is a way to link the kind of work that's come from our deliberations today into the programme development and strategic planning of existing conservation organisations like the World Wildlife Fund, like IUCN, like BirdLife International. Thank you very much. It's a completely new way of looking at it. So it's very practical and inspiring. It's simple, but it's very powerful. I thought it was very uh, participative, everyone got involved. I found it really interesting in terms of bringing different people from the community together to have a very dynamic discussion. I'm already going away from here thinking about how I can put this into practice with my own work.